IBM has recently released a whole new fleet of processors, all having over 100 qubits, and you can log on to quantum.ibm.com to see which processors you have access to. The processors are all named after birds, and the different logos represent different types of processors. The name of the specific processors are also found at the top. They're all named after cities, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the processor is physically located in that city. Those are just names. Qubit count, EPLG, and clops are also factors that are all listed. We'll go over each of these. Qubits. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Qubits is just the number of total qubits available to use on that sole quantum processor or QPU. EPLG stands for the errors per layered gate, which measures the average gate process error in a layered chain of 100 qubits. Basically, you want this to be as small as possible. CLOPS stands for circuit layer operations per second, and it measures how many layers of a quantum volume circuit, which is a virtual circuit, a QPU can execute per unit time. The higher the number, the faster we can compute. This is equivalent to what FLOPS means in classical computing. Now, these different metrics may be more or less important depending on the specific application area that you're interested in.